Hi everyone, today I'm going to paint watercolor paint with uh, oh, onion. So, firstly, I just quickly sketch for the onion. I don't really make uh, too much detail, just simplify with one line. And here is have uh, roots. And there is on the top of the onion, interestingly, it's got a, a paper, almost like a paper curved on the top thing, which is kind of good point of the onion. And the light is coming here, so I just make uh, this part, it's gonna be the bright side, and here it's gonna be a shadow, like a darkness. And there, it's got a little shadow, shadow part. Okay. So here I got a limited palette for the watercolor. So the color I'm using for today is Van Dyke Brown, Ultramarine Blue, and probably Burnt Sienna and Permanent Red and Permanent Yellow Orange, Lemon Yellow sort of kind of color and I just dip the water here to make a little bit watery here and then before I make a color I just make sure all the shadow and the darkness so here I'm using ultramarine blue and then Van Dyke brown so two colors I normally use for the shadow or the darkness you see the color is almost gray and then here is a shadow but I'm not really worried about the too much detail but just make sure or the like a neutral uh, just make a neutral color and then I'm not worried about to make wiping out the color oh, there's a green color <laughs> it's my mistake but I'm gonna wiping out later okay so now okay before I make a brown almost brownish yellow uh, orange color I make sure on the top of the curly curled paper stuff because here is also got a uh, most shadow part. Even though I'm not using any color, like a only neutral color, but you can see all the different tones. Okay, dip, uh, dip the water here, and then. Make a little bit wet on the palette and using the burnt sienna like a like a red yellowish brown like this much and then it goes in the middle and then just soak the water out it's gonna be right part and I'm adding more orange and with this tone I also detail on the top paper stuff but when you think it's too much water then just wipe out a little bit and then here is the most bright part on this onion. So take it out more water. Like that. And here so got the bright part, but it's gonna be curved. So I just use more water here. So watercolor basically 
control the water and then the color because it's watercolor adding Van Dyke Brown and Bontesina so make here this dark color you can holding the brush closely like that and you can even do try to make more detail but not pressure just and here it's gonna be like a dark accent because all the different subject each subject's got a accent which means there's a lot of dark in the shadow even though if you're doing water um i mean pencil painting i mean pencil drawing or oil painting or acrylic also got an accent dark accent like that and adding more bunt sienna I'm going to make a little you know the line here yeah and then this type of watercolor I'm not worried about to complete completion I mean I don't worry about finish work it just make a fun fun little painting video and then hope you guys enjoy what I'm painting or you can even follow step by step to improve your skill at the same time I just make you starting point of the watercolor <laughs> this is my and that's why I just share my um, process you know before I just choose the subject I always have um, I went to the kitchen and grab, grab some of them and then I spent ages to looking at them and find trying to find one of them one of the interesting thing of this part and that I just found okay this part is quite interesting for me so that's why I grab it so yeah I think it's Today's painting is done, even though it's not looks perfectly right, but yeah, I just enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy your painting. Happy day. Hope you enjoy your painting. Okay, bye.